it's your boy Q from Next Level Reefing, and I'm back with another video. First and foremost, I'd like to say thank you for all the love and support. I show sure do appreciate it. And with that being said, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you can be notified of every video that I drop, which is every single Friday. Now let's dive into it. So those of you that have been following me thus far knows that last week I had to make this uh, episode into two. So this is a twofer um, of last week's uh, caught up. And then those of you that are seeing me for the first time in this video, I actually helped you guys out and made a playlist for um, the Waterbox Peninsula Dream Tank build. Um, so be sure to watch the previous videos so you can get caught up into this video. So a little bit of last week's video, you guys know um, if you saw it that um, because of me making this uh, two part, that video was kind of a, a little of a, a, a sad, negative, bad, ugly type situation uh, with the Dream Tank build. And so with this video, I can now say that, you know, things are on an up and up. It's exciting news. I got finally my first experience delivered um, a couple of days ago and things are looking good y'all the package came as promised so they delivered it on Monday and it it, it came to the door at like 9 30 in the morning uh, that following Tuesday now when I was tracking it it was a little hiccup here and there when it when it came to my location it said that it was a delay um because it came from kentucky or excuse me tennessee and then from tennessee it was coming to my location um in raleigh north carolina and so when it touched down in tennessee it was saying that there was a delay in the flight so i was like oh man not again come on but you know that following morning it said it was on time delivery was on time and like i said it came and you know so this video i'm going to actually first off let me uh shout out to live aquaria and the customer service rep that helped me out i show do per shate you um i'm going to dive into um it's not like a how-to tutorial like i said again i'm not that to uh preach and teach I'm just letting you take this journey with me with the ups and downs, goods and bads and the ugly. And so I'm just going to give a little a tutorial of my first experience of the online um, livestock shipping experience. So I'm going to show you guys uh, what steps it takes uh, once you receive the, uh, the live aquarium package to your doorsteps. So the first thing that I thought that was pretty dope is before you even get the package, they send you an email um, giving you the tracking information and also to give you a link to the website of how to acclimate the fish or whatever you get um, in the package when you get it delivered. So, you know, they kind of give you that so you can kind of brush it up to get an idea of what to do, what's necessary and um, which direction you want to go as far as acclimation um, processing goes. And they definitely tell you that it is very important and adamant that you um, process or acclimate the fish because um, first off, it's coming from a whole different location. It's going shipping, so it's stressed from there. Um, and also the, uh, param the parameters of the water that comes from um, Live Aquaria is gonna be different than the one in your tank. So it's very important that you follow that process that they give you so that way you don't put any more stress on the um, package uh, that it's already in, so. So before I get into the acclimation process of this video, I wanted to uh, show an unboxing of my first experience of, of the Live Aquaria um, item that I received. So uh, first and foremost, the package was, uh, was immaculate. Um, you open it, you have a cooling or heating pack depending on where it's coming from. At the top of the uh, styrofoam um, bucket, and then you have little bits of popcorn or a little bits of styrofoam to kind of keep the bag in place of your item. And then you take the item out. Uh, and good thing for me, the item <laughs> was alive. It was swimming and dipping. So I am uh, blessed for that. 
and, and you know i'm interested to hear other people's experiences trials and tribulations good bad and uglies of this whole um ordering online of uh livestock so you know leave a comment below like what was your first experience like okay so the first thing they tell you um once you go to that link is that it's very important um that you follow the acclimation process whichever two options that you do but you have to do at least one or two for it to be covered by the 14 day um uh, return policy or whatever policy they have so what you'll do is um my option i chose the first option of between the two um which i thought was more simple for me because i don't have the drip line tubing um so i did the um half cup of uh your own um water into the bag method so the first thing they said to do is turn your lights off um so that way you don't put any more added stress to the fish that's already stressed from the from the trip um and then you know i actually added an extra step for me just to be safe and you guys know me um uh, i do my research and i take my time so with that being said uh i kind of fed the fish a little extra to hopefully get their mind off of the new tank make that's going to be coming into the tank so the fish would be um a little bit less stress uh stressful environment for him once he gets into uh the tank because there is more uh livestock into the tank so um you saw me feeding them there so then um they tell you to also you know to drop the bag into the tank so that way the temperature of the bag water will be um close to your tank water and you do that for uh, at least 15 minutes um, and then you check the temperature on both uh your tank and then also the uh the bag to make sure it's close but when you do the process as far as the um, putting the water into the into the uh the bag that should also help it um um acclimate towards the temperature so after the 15 minutes they tell you to put a half a cup of your tank water into the bag um and you do that for uh, every four minutes and then once the bag is full then you dump half of the water from the bag into a bucket and I dumped a little bit more than half just because I wanted to be uh, more safe <laughs> and then no sorry for later um, so you see me taking the uh, bag off eventually and then uh, dipping the uh, the water into the bucket and then you want to follow that process uh, the second time with the putting the half cup in of tank of your tank water into um, the fish bag uh, and you want to do that process every four minutes again for a second time and um, for me I just wanted to be better safe than sorry because it looked like the bag was a little small for me when I cut it and then when I had to do the rolling because they also tell you to roll the bag in uh, a half an inch so that way it can float I don't know about you guys but leave a comment below if that if that worked out for you guys for doing that process um, it didn't work out for me so I ended up getting the clamp and clamping the bag uh, on the, the tank glass so um, I did it actually a third time of filling the uh, bag up with my tank water so that way I felt more comfortable of the water uh, parameters being closer um, the third time as opposed I actually think I did it maybe a fourth time just to be uh, on the safe side um, so then once you do that uh, they tell you to you can either um, get a net and grab the the fish uh within the bag um i find that you know the nets are too big for um that bag so i just dumped the bag the fish into the bucket um a new bucket and then i put the uh, i grabbed the uh the net that i was going to use and then uh grab the fish and then put it in that way and then once you do that it says to leave the lights off for um at least four hours uh so that way it can kind of get adjusted to the tank and and you know uh less stress on the fish so i did that and it was so far so good the problem that i had was 
And if you guys followed, I want to say maybe like the third episode, what I was talking about, might have been the fourth episode, but I had one where my blue tank was the bully of the tank. Still is, none changed. Uh, I want to say within two minutes of putting uh, the fish into the tank, and if I didn't say what it was, um, it's called the uh, sleeper um, uh, gold face uh, goby or yellow face goby. You know, they have different names. But basically, I wanted to get a sand sifting uh, goby to help out with the detritus and also the dead waste that's uh, stuck into the sand. Um, so, yeah, so that daggum powder blue. Uh, was trying to slap fins with the goby and the goby looked so uh, helpless and so I kind of agitated the, the the powder blue as, as much as I could to kind of steer it away from the um, the, the goby and um, it worked for a little bit um, I sat there for like at least an hour to hopefully see that you know the powder blue would kind of get tired and 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 just did, did his own thing but as soon as I left um, he went back and started agitating the goby and then the goby instead of trying to find a place to hide It just sat there by the uh, the edge of the glass and then it, it kind of uh, Veered off to the right side of the tank where you can see the front view of the peninsula part of the tank and it sat there for a little bit um, Then it finally started sifting sand which I thought was pretty cool but because the, the, the and you'll see in a later footage that the goby is so small usually when it when it um inhales the the sand it'll uh escape through its gills but because <laughs> the sand is a is not as fine as you know you usually get for the gobies um he would just inhale it and then spit it back out so i thought that was pretty interesting i caught a little bit of footage of it which you guys see um so then i left for a little bit um to finish my other project that you'll guys see in a later video so again make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell um and then i came back it took me probably like a couple hours and then when i came back the lights i turned the lights on um and then i noticed that you know the goby was gone i was like oh man i hope they didn't you know eat my goby i just got it um but he actually um set shop up under the middle um cave and underneath and he was starting to dig his little hole which i thought you know um i used to have a yellow watchman goby um and it was paired up with a pistol shrimp i thought it was the pistol shrimp that created the caves but you know i guess the gobies do the same thing so um he created this little cave to kind of hide out and kind of keep away from the stupid powder blue um and he's been there ever since so he hasn't um crept out but i kind of keep my eye on him make sure you know um that the bully doesn't agitate him again but yeah, he's been staying there. So everything so far has been has been good. Um, he's still up alive. I can't really see if he's eating. I know he's sifting the sand, but just in that one area that he's uh, set up shopping. So I'm hoping, you know, uh, at least within the next week or two, he'll get uh, properly acclimated to um, the tank and his tank mates. And he'll be swimming around and hopefully helping me out with the... Um, the detritus and you know help me keep that uh sand uh crystal white uh for me so uh, i want to thank you guys again for keeping up with this video i show do per you and i'll see you guys on the next one